two artists, ladies and gentlemen, two for the price of one. Step right up and join me as we find out exactly what Anselmo doesn't know about the law. So here's the deal. Recently, Anselmo posted an audit from inside a federal building, and I originally decided not to make a video about it because I just made a video about his trip to Washington, D.C., and I've already discussed the types of things he got wrong in other videos. But then he released a second video with almost identical issues, and I knew I had to try to help him. In the first video, Anselmo is in the John F. Kennedy Federal Building in Boston and visits the U.S. Citizens and Immigration Services, an agency that falls under the Department of Homeland Security. Yes, the same Department of Homeland Security that issued that infamous memo, of which some of you are no doubt aware. He is told to stop filming, directed to a sign prohibiting that very activity, and then escorted out of the area, something that he was very unhappy about. That sign references 41 CFR 102-74-420, which states, Except where security regulations, rules, orders, or directives apply, or a federal court order or rule prohibits it, persons entering in or on federal property may take photographs of, and then a whole bunch of things until we get to the end where it says, buildings, entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums for news purposes. That's odd. That's exactly what's found in the 2018 DHS memo, and I'm fairly certain I've heard Anselmo reference it, so one would assume he's read it. And if you've read it, you'd understand that it says that, yes, you can take photographs unless it is prohibited by regulations, rules, orders, etc., which it clearly is in this area. But is this allowed by the Constitution? Before we answer that, let's look at our second video. Anselmo enters a United States Postal Service building in Rhode Island another building governed by a code of federal regulations. In this case, that would be 39 CFR 232.1. In that code, we find the following. Except as prohibited by official signs or the directions of security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings. Other photographs may be taken only with permission of the local postmaster or installation head. So again, you can film as long as you're filming for news purposes, which Anselmo is, unless, of course, you're directed not to by authorized personnel. Last time I was in a post office, I asked who that authorized personnel would be, and I was told it could be any employee. In this instance, that employee was the nice man behind the counter who tells Anselmo that filming is prohibited. But Anselmo isn't phased. He's got poster 7 on his side, right? If he had read past the first three lines in the section about photography, he would know this. We know he can read, thanks to Officer Cardello pointing it out in my video about his incident at the United States Capitol. Now, Anselmo did get lucky with this one, because a man who appeared to be the postmaster came out and said, no, 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 the filming is okay, don't worry about it. Not all postmasters are fine with that, though. Ask before you conduct a First Amendment audit in one. Most of the auditing community is aware of this poll poster 7 thing by now, so I'm not sure how Anselmo missed the memo. Are these regulations allowed by the Constitution? Anselmo seems to think they aren't, but he's wrong. I've already made videos about this. Neither the post office nor the JFK Federal Building are public forums. They are areas open to the public, but not designated for public expression, which the freedom of press would fall under. Because of this, Restrictions on filming can be greater in these buildings than you would find on a traditional public forum, like a street or a sidewalk. I do hope this helps you understand the laws surrounding these types of prohibitions, Anselmo, but unfortunately, you did fail both of these audits. You failed the first one because you lacked knowledge regarding public and non-public forums, and you failed the second one because you didn't read all of the relevant parts of Poster 7. You also thought that the post office is funded by taxes, which it isn't. I mean, if I was earning income off of holding tyrants accountable, I'd want to know what I was talking about and be familiar with the proper application of laws so that I knew the difference between a bad officer and a good one. But I guess that's just me. Better luck next time, and if you need some study materials, I would be more than happy to provide some. Anyway, until the next time, be good, stay safe. That's a pretty good looking video right there, and uh, that one as well. Just a thought. Might want to check it out. Up to you, though. Ooh, uh, also, uh, the subscribe button down below. Feel free to hit it for more content like uh, what you've already seen. But I've been, I've been rambling too long. I got to go. Thank you so much.